Hi, this is Chris from BudgetWays.com. I'm here today to walk you through how to build a simple Excel or some other spreadsheet template for budget. Um, as you can see, I'm using OpenOffice instead of Microsoft Office. You can use whatever spreadsheet software that you find available. Um, Google Docs also has a free application if you wanted to use that. OpenOffice, the one I'm using now, is free also. All right, let's start. Uh, here we go. Go into column A, give it a title, call it uh, Household Budget, whatever you want to name it. Come down and you start with uh, two categories, Income and Expenses. And then you start uh, filling in the categories, Income. Think of any kind of income that you have, wages, or uh, Social Security, pension, um, alimony, if they still do that, I don't know. And uh, list all of them out, put down a total column, and then go to expenses and do the same thing. Let's say you have a mortgage or rent, uh, insurance, your utilities, Think of your biggest expenses first and put those down. You can always go back and add more. Um, entertainment. You could break that down further into TV, Netflix, um, movie theater, however you want. Uh, we don't have the time to get into all that, but uh, you can visit our site at budgetways.com and, and find a whole list of things you need. A um, few other expenses here. Food. And let's call dining out separate. And then we'll add a uh, total here. And then we put in a date. Let's say we're doing this for January. And we'll add in, uh, fill out our wages here. Let's say you make $4,000 a month. You don't have Social Security, no pension, no alimony. And let's total this up. that and expenses let's say your mortgage is twelve hundred and fifty dollars and your insurance is let's say your insurance is five hundred dollars a year you would go equal five hundred divided by twelve and that would give you the monthly rate your utilities you can get your bills and add all those up let's say they're two hundred and fifty dollars a month entertainment four hundred food three hundred dining out say you go out to eat a lot and of course you could put all your other expenses in here and then you sum this up now we can go through and format this into money format and basically now we have a sum of our total income and our total expenses and you would add the line item for any budget surplus or deficit if it's negative. Let's hope it's positive. And then you would take your total income minus total expenses. And in this case, our budget shows over $1,100. And um, basically, that's how much money you should be saving each month. And if this is uh, not accurate of what your actually doing then you probably forgot to enter some things into your budget now just to uh, take this forward to the next month you can copy this entire column and paste it into the next column change it to February and then in come the next month, you can go and update everything else. A lot of things will stay the same, but you know your utilities might vary a little bit. Um, you might go out less entertainment. You might be trying to cut your expenses based on this budget. So you would update your new expenses. And let's say you really cut back on uh, dining out. Um, and let's say you got a little bit of a raise. And 
and now you can see how your numbers are improving here on your bottom line. Of course, these are fake numbers, but once you get to this point, you can put things in like percent change, whereas you can take February divided by January minus one gives you a percent change. Format that as a percent, and then you can copy and paste. And if you look at this, uh, these improvements that we made over here by reducing these costs 10, 20, 50 percent gives a 45 percent increase in your overall budget. Um, you can use analyses like this to uh, help you analyze your budget. And of course, you want to make it much more detailed than this, but this is a, a great way that anyone can get started with a, uh, a household or personal financial budget. Thank you for visiting.